Hello, hope you're having a great day. Now, if you watched yesterday's video on this channel, you'll know that for the first time, I actually did a boxing session and a full gym session in one day, as well as doing a little mini workout here at home in the morning. So, you know, I had three workouts yesterday. It's been something that I've wanted to try and do ever since I started doing the boxing. It's something that very recently seemed beyond possibility, but yesterday I did do it. However, it's definitely taken its toll because I woke up this morning absolutely knackered, you know, mentally and physically. And I didn't actually get out of bed until 20 past nine. Now, I understand and acknowledge and admit that really and truly I could have got up early despite how broken I was feeling this morning. You know, it's just that my lazy mind had another excuse to try and keep me in bed. And that is, you know, how knackered I was. And I really needed to get up early today because I need to get out. I need to get over to my other garage and I need to swap the two cars around and bring the other car back home here to the garage at home. And, you know, while I'm at the garage, I want to mess around with some stuff. I want to start filming a video for the other channel. So, you know, me laying in is really going to affect how much I can get done today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to not do anything here at home before I leave in terms of, you know, doing stuff on the MacBook, um, editing yesterday's video on this channel, etc. So, you know, I'm going to save all of that for later on when I get home because it gets dark so early, you know, I need to get out as quick as I can and, you know, do what I need to in the daylight. However, what I haven't done is forfeited my morning routine because I understand that my health and fitness is the most important thing in my life you know it's way more important than business way more important than youtube you know that's just the way it's got to be right your health and fitness should be the most important thing in your life without me you know continuing to improve myself physically mentally spiritually then you know being a youtuber and doing all this other business stuff can't happen so i have to prioritize my health and fitness and that's why even though i got up late even though i don't have time to do everything that i need to do today i've still been cracking on with my full morning routine and as usual i'm talking to you after i've had my meditation before that i wrote in my journal before that i walked around the block before that, you know, I brushed my teeth, had loads and loads of water before that to wake me up, along with my soul water, along with my vitamin C. You know the deal. And next up in my morning routine is doing my workout. Now, what I'm going to do here at home is a bit of legs, which I was going to do yesterday, but because I was doing boxing yesterday, I decided not to. And yeah, this leg session is basically following up from the leg session I did the day before yesterday in the gym. And it's funny because my achiness, especially after a leg session, actually in the gym always comes about 24 hours after that session so you know if I was to do the leg session yesterday morning following you know literally the evening before although I know strictly it's kind of pointless you know um, doing two leg sessions so close together you know if I was to do it the following morning as I normally do I don't really have any aching in my legs. The aching hasn't really started yet. I would, you know, usually have aching in my arms and chest from the session before that because I normally do arms and chest and then the day after that do legs. But um, yeah, so today I've actually got quite a lot of pain in my legs and I'm now about to uh, crack out a leg session. But, you know, I'll be fine. These sessions that I do at home aren't as intense as the ones I do in the gym and that's why I kind of ignore what is good advice when it comes to not doing you know a leg session at home so close to a leg session in the gym so today i'm going to be doing squats and calves and i'll do some deadlift which is kind of back kind of legs this evening in the gym i'm going to be doing back because well back and shoulders because yesterday i decided to switch my order around do arms and chest because i was working out with my beautiful girlfriend cat and we didn't want to do back and shoulders yesterday because the last session she did was back and shoulders. So, um, yeah, all very confusing. But anyway, I've got something that Kat bought me for Christmas that I'm going to be trying out for the first time today. And it is this exercise bell. Now, from what I can make of it from watching videos on YouTube, because that's how I learn everything, <laughs> the exercise belt basically gives you your sort of core, something to brace against when you're doing things like squats and things like deadlift. So, um, you know, in theory, it can mean that you can sort of move more weight. And I think it can sort of take some of the strain off of your lower back. 
Um, and yeah, I do get sort of straining my lower back when I'm doing the leg machines at the gym, you know, when I'm doing squats here at home, I'm not, not doing loads and loads of weight. You know, I normally do sort of 20 reps on the first set and 15 on the second. So I'm not, you know, it's not like I'm doing one rep max where you're literally just doing the amount of weight that you can barely do for, um, one rep. So, um, yeah, I do, you know, do quite lightweight really but uh yeah i'm gonna try out my new exercise belt for the first time and uh yeah i'll let you know what i think of it as usual i'm gonna do the squats and the calves and then squats and calves just to save me putting the bar down and picking it back up again and then i'll crack on with my two sets of deadlift and in between those two sets i'll either bang out some push-ups or some sit-ups whatever i feel like but um yeah as i say i need to salvage this day so i can't waste too much time so let's crack on with this workout as quick as i can so yeah this morning i had to attach the buckle to what i think is the right holes for my size so that was another thing that uh wasted 10 minutes that i didn't have that hooks into these holes and then just close it like that All right, so I don't know what happened there when the belt came off, but um, yeah, I didn't sort of check that it was still on properly um, after I stopped doing the squats and started doing the deadlift. When I was doing the squats, it definitely sort of took the pressure off my back and put it more onto my legs, which um, made it actually harder on my legs. Um, so yeah, definitely uh, doesn't allow me to push more weight, but if it's directing the pressure to my legs, then it's potentially gonna you know help build my legs up quicker uh, to a point where I can do more weight on the squats because you know it is uh, you know focusing all the pressure on my legs with the deadlifts um yeah I didn't really notice any difference apart from you can sort of feel it on you um kind of feels a bit in the way whilst you're going up and down but uh, yeah I don't know what I'm doing that's just my opinion of how it felt but um, yeah, I don't know whether maybe I need to try the next tightness on it. Um, yeah, I'll have a bit of an experiment to see, you know, if that feels better or worse or or different. Um, but yeah, definitely seems like at a bare minimum, this thing's going to save my back when I'm doing squat, which is a good thing. But um, yeah, now I need to dive into my cold shower. I haven't got no time to wait around and think about it. And to be honest... When you are sort of pushed for time, you can use it to your advantage, right? I wouldn't have banged out that workout as quick if I had all the time in the world. It's because I know that I'm pushed for time that I'm able to just not think about it and bang it out. Obviously, you've got to be careful because your mind will be telling you to you know, do less reps or don't push it quite to failure um, because you're pushed for time. So as long as you can overcome that, um, yeah, you know, the fact that you're pushed for time can sometimes benefit you. So, you know, if you're someone that's really, really, really busy in the mornings, don't use that as a, an excuse for why you can't have a little mini workout every day. Use it as an excuse for you to bang out your mini workout quicker every day. But um, anyway, I need to get in my cold shower and then I can have my breakfast, all my other supplements and then crack on with my day. All right, it's now 6 p.m. and I've not long been back from my other garage. Managed to get some bits done over there and I've actually brought some bits home with me that I can crack on with here, um, which will you know, conclude or at least continue with the video that I started filming today for the other channel. Obviously, didn't get as much done over there as I would have hoped and that's my fault for not getting out of bed this morning. Although, to be fair, there wasn't much more that I was planning to do over there today in terms of working on that video. It's just that 
the garages over there need some serious tidying up, which I just didn't have time to do today. And um, yeah, the garage here at home as well, the plan was to tidy that up before I headed out. Um, so yeah, didn't get as much done as I would like, you know, down to my own laziness this morning. But um, yeah, glad that I went over there and got some stuff done. Also went and visited my friend who's got my the body shell of my latest project at the moment. And we've been discussing about what I'm going to be doing with him tomorrow with regards to uh, moving that project along. And that's going to, you know, be an opportunity to film some content as well. So uh yeah, this morning was definitely a flop. I've only got myself to blame that I haven't been able to get as much done as I would like today. But, you know, at the same time, I need to put that behind me and then just stay busy for the rest of the evening. I'm now going to dive into editing yesterday's video on this channel, which nowadays, you know, sometimes I'm able to bang out that edit in half an hour if I really focus. So, yeah, I'm going to get that done and then I'm going to head to the gym and uh, get my gym session done. And then, um, yeah, just go from there. All right, so yesterday's on track video took a bit longer to edit than I was hoping, which is absolutely fine. They deserve as much time as they need because these videos are really important. And I've had a couple more emails from some of you guys letting me know how helpful these videos are to you. So uh, yeah, massive thanks to everyone who has reached out. I have mentioned recently, you know, that when I'm not feeling my best, my mind does ponder about whether I should keep these videos going or not. But in reality, they're helping other people, they help me massively. So I have no intentions of stopping making these daily vlogs for anyone that is interested in following me on my days. Now, because that editing took a bit longer than I was hoping, it did mean that my beautiful girlfriend, Kat, was home from work. So it means that I can drive this nice modern car to the gym, which is awesome because it's got heated seats and a heated steering wheel. So it means that I can actually drive to the gym in my shorts and t-shirt. I don't need to wrap up like I would if I was driving my car. So there you go. So I'm making my way to the gym quite late. It's 20 to nine and I'm gonna be banging out a back and shoulder session, which was the plan yesterday, but I decided to do arms and chest with Kat, of course. So uh, yeah, gonna get in there, gonna do a warm up. I think I'm gonna jump on the exercise bike for a warm up, which is gonna be a killer for my legs because I did legs this morning at home, did boxing yesterday, which is a killer on my, on my legs and um, did legs the day before that in the gym, which is a killer on legs. But what I find with the really steep, really fast incline walk that I do, it kind of makes my, it sort of feels like it's just behind my shins aching. So not my calves, sort of in between my calves and my shins. Yeah, it feels really weird, but I do literally power walk when I do that warm up. It is ridiculously fast, it is ridiculously steep. But um, yeah, when I went on my walk this morning, I could feel that I was getting that pain that sort of feels like it's just behind my shin. So I think I'm going to get on the exercise bike, which is going to kill my top half of my leg more um, and, you know, take away the strain from, you know, just below my, sh just behind my shin. So yeah, that's the plan. Going to jump on the exercise bike for a warm up and then planning to do five machines on back and shoulders. And I'm hoping that the gym's going to be quite quiet because it is quite late and I'm just gonna try and bang out this session in an hour. That is my goal. I should be in there by 10 to nine, and yeah, it'd be cool if I can get out by 10 to 10. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Well, as it turned out, I utterly failed to get out of the gym in an hour. I was actually in there an hour and a half. It's now just gone 20 past 10 and I'm on my way home. You know, I am going home late. I did go to the gym late, but 
I've got to acknowledge that it's my own fault because I started the day terribly by getting up late. You know, if I'm going to get up late, then I'm going to expect to finish my day late. I mean, the reality is that I'm always so busy that even if I got up early, I may still be in this position now, going home late from the gym, but at least I would have been able to do it with my conscience clear, you know? At least then I would have been able to sit here now and know that I did everything I could to get everything done that I need to in uh, the best time possible, but, you know, that's not the case. You know, I do regret not getting up on time earlier, even though, you know, some might say it was justified because I went super hard yesterday, literally fulfilled a fitness ambition yesterday of uh, doing a gym sesh, a home workout and a boxing class in one day, but, you know, I'll always acknowledge where I fall short. I will always try not to make excuses for where I fall short because my mind will always find an excuse for when I fall short. So, yeah, I don't need to be um, <laughs> finding excuses. <laughs> but yeah, it was a really good session, you know, back and shoulders. I was kind of thinking when I was doing the shoulder stuff that um, I'm going to pay for it tomorrow in boxing because boxing is hard on the shoulders. But you know what? It's got to be done, you know. My shoulder, you know, when I do shoulders in the gym, I do go slightly lighter nowadays than I used to. So, you know, what more can I do, you know? I've got to, got to do my shoulders on every back and shoulder session. Um, I can't be, uh, you know, saving my shoulders for boxing. Like, I can't do that when I'm only doing one back and shoulder session a week in the gym, you know? But as I get more and more into my fitness, as I get more and more into boxing, and more and more into the gym, it's now getting to the stage where I'm not, you know, saving myself for boxing. Um, partly because I'm only doing one of each of my gym sessions, so I can't afford to not go hard. But, you know, partly because I am getting fitter, you know. Now, there was a time where I would never do a back and shoulder session the day before boxing because boxing's harsh on my shoulders. Or I would, you know, not do shoulders, for instance. I'd only do back, you know. But I can't do that now, and I don't do that now. And, you know, I remember a time where it was like, well, I can't do a leg session the day before boxing because boxing's harsh on my legs. Where I don't do that now. I don't really alter my gym routine much to fit around boxing, you know? The bottom line is, I do one leg session, one back and shoulder session, and one arm and chest session a week, and I do full sessions, regardless. And I do two boxing sessions a week, and they just slot in, um, you know, where I can fit them in. Ideally, I'll do a Tuesday, then a Saturday, so there's a bigger gap between the two boxing sessions, but yeah, that's it. You know, I've got to a stage now where, after yesterday, it's not impossible to do a gym session and a boxing session in the same day. So, you know, what I'm saying is, it's getting to the point now where, in terms of fitness, it's not a chore to squeeze in all the gym sessions and boxing sessions that I need to do, you know. Um, I'm not having to save myself for any of the gym sessions or the boxing sessions, which is good. Anyway, right now I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna have a shower as quick as I can because it is late, and then I'm gonna be having a massive dinner, my beautiful girlfriend, has uh, baked me two chicken breasts. She marinated them beforehand as well, so they're gonna taste awesome. Gonna get loads of protein in, loads of calories in, because um, yeah, I am trying to grow at the moment. So uh, yeah, looking forward to that. And then I'm gonna have to dive into some sort of work. Even if it is just doing the initial cut of the footage that I captured today. You know, I need to spend a good hour or so doing something, you know, to make up for my you know flop this morning really and um just because there's a lot going on and uh, yeah i need to chip away as much as i can obviously it's a balance because i want to go to bed relatively early so that i can get up relatively early tomorrow because tomorrow is set to be another busy day um but yeah loving this busy life oh yeah big dinner the usual dessert the daily smoothie, kiwi fruit, frozen blueberries, natural yogurt, pomegranate juice, and I might even chuck some Perrinase on my dinner because, um, yeah, trying to get extra calories in, so why not?
All right, so once my beautiful girlfriend went to sleep at about quarter past 11, I've been, um, yeah, getting my head in my MacBook, started chopping up the footage that I captured earlier on, and then, yeah, looking at some behind the scenes stuff. But um, yeah, it is way later than I should be going to bed. It's actually quarter past one now. Definitely haven't done enough work to warrant me still being up at quarter past one. So yeah, really need to go to bed. Really need to do better tomorrow in terms of getting up because yeah, I've got a load of stuff planned. I'm not actually sure if they're going to do a boxing class tomorrow, but if they do, I'm going to be jumping on that. But um, yeah, before and after that, I've got a load of other stuff I need to crack on with. More stuff than I've got time for, but that is my life but um it's just another reason why i need to um get more productive stop wasting time you know in the morning trying to get up and um just in general but you know happy that i did get some stuff done today happy that i've ticked off my third gym session of the week happy that i've got some stuff done around the garage happy that i managed to swap the cars around um so it hasn't been a nothing day but you know, I've always got to acknowledge where I could have done better and I definitely could have done a lot better today. But, you know, tomorrow's another day. I'll cross that bridge when I get to it. I will be back for another video then as well. Massive thanks as always to everyone who's tuned into this one. Feel free to say hello in the comments. We'll have a chat or get in touch through the usual channels. All the links to everything will be in the description. But other than that, I'll chat to you tomorrow.